George first, and I came in 1950. Nanny Doyle, and I came in 1964. Nancy Graham, I came in 1961. Donna Martin, and I came in 1968. Sue Wall, and I came in 1969. And I'm Ruth Lees, I came in 1973. I'm Doris Sunderland, and I came in 1987. I'm Rita Collins, I came in 204. I'm Betty Rackman, and I came in 1204. My name is John Newton. I came in 2009. Because my mother-in-law was coming here, and uh, Reverend Hartz was the minister in the 50s. In College Acres, when this was the closest, and my children were going to school with the, their friends were coming here, so that's probably why we came. And I don't know why I haven't. Left. I came in 68 for the same reason Sue did, because I was in College Acres and it was the closest church. Worth Cotton was our minister then. And I stayed because when my son died, the church rallied behind me and I swore I would never leave. <laughs> 1964. A uh, fellow that Jack worked with at the airport was going to church here, Lacey Woodcock, mm -hmm. and he invited us to come. And so we come and we visited, and Joe Bostic was the pastor, and we loved Joe and his wife, Julia, and that's the reason we stayed. They were as friendly as any pastor we have ever had here. Joe would stand outside on the sidewalk on Sunday mornings uh, outside the North X there and welcome everybody as they come into Sunday school. 1204, but I had been here coming, visited and so forth uh, since 1990s. My daughter and grandsons lived out in uh, Whitebridge. And in the beginning, they went, they each went to the uh, school. And so we had come, when we came to visit, we'd come and pick them up and bring them home and things like that. So I was familiar with Wesley. But when I ended up moving here after my husband passed away, I um, went to Trinity. I visited Trinity, and I also visited the Fifth Avenue Methodist, but I knew in my heart I would end up here at Wesley. And so I came, well, I went to Pine Valley, and there was no parking, and so I came here, and that Sunday there was the parking for first-time visitors, and I said, well, that is welcoming right there, I think. And uh, now I get very upset when a member parks in that spot. The way I got here to Wesley was my cousin passed away, and he was living in New Hampshire at the time. And he had a burial site here at uh, Oakdale Cemetery. And he had seen um, David in Fedville prior to that a couple of times. And after the service, David came down here and done for him. He, David came out to the house. And he was just like a part of the home. He, uh, I showed him where the restroom was, the, the kitchen was, and he was ready to go. And we talked about um, the outside area. He liked to do a lot of things in nature and so forth with plant, plants and everything. And after they left that evening, my wife and I both discussed, if he ever comes to Wilmington, we're going to go to whichever church he comes to Wilmington. And he's come, and he's gone, and we're still here because of these lovely people yeah. right here. It's the people that makes this church. I want to hear people reflect on is how has God used Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church to bless your life? It's the people. That's why we love Wesley. It's the people. Uh, one year for our Christmas Eve communion when Vern Tyson was here, 
the communion was like from five to seven or eight or something and it was just a walk-in and so you went up as a family and he prayed for each member of the family placed his hand on their head and prayed for them and that was something that my family talked about for years and years and it was so memorable for us but I realize now the church is too large for that. That was special. I joined Wesley in 1973. Uh, my husband was transferred uh, with DuPont, and that is the reason I left the North, so I'm one of those damn Yankees that does it, <laughs> never went to back. And uh, we were looking for several ch churches. We uh, visited several, and I remember one of them we visited was Trinity and we went in there and I said oh my gosh it's got an awful smell a dusty um, <laughs> uh, atmosphere and all the ladies wore hats so I decided no Trinity for us <laughs> and so we had three boys and we had found out they had an active youth program so that's why we selected Wesley however the boys well one of them was already in college and the other one was soon there and they just didn't find the friendships that they uh, I had hoped they would have and uh, so anyway we uh, I've just stayed by that time I was used I had met people and I was happy to stay and I do what I could is the Wesley Fellowship class we're just like one big happy family aren't we Nancy yes. and uh, it's just wonderful and that's one reason I think we stay because of uh, and we felt more comfortable and more like the ones we came from up home and the people once again. What might be some other examples that you think of um, about, I saw Wesley at its best when... It may not be exactly what you're looking for, but I was blessed and I thought Wesley offered me a lot when I joined the Bible study and sharing groups I that's when I really became familiar with the Bible. We did the Easter Life Supper and I still have the VCR if anybody wants to see it and it to me it just was wonderful I wish we could do it every you, year. You um, inherited in some ways what others had created before you yeah which is a great thing so so what are you hoping to give or to leave for to the next the old generation? Old story of Jesus and his love.